fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, all about mutts. Go ahead, grab your snack and your beverage and stand by to talk about mutts. Alright fishy folks, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about mutts. And the first thing I have to answer is, what is a mutt? So, in Michael's fish room, and I think most people consider a mutt just a guppy that doesn't breed true. Let's say you have, you know, I don't know, red cobras, and you know, you have a drop of fry with 30 fry, and you get 15 really nice red cobras. You get another, I don't know, five or seven that are pretty nice red cobras, but then you get, you know, five or six or seven that aren't red cobras. They might have cobra genes, they might look like mosaics what have you, what are you going to do with them? Many people, especially, you know, guys that, that uh, breed for competition will cull them. They'll take them out of the colony and feed them to Chewy or feed them to whomever or just destroy them. That doesn't make me any money. So early on in the fish room I was breeding, I think they were tequila sunrise guppies, um, you know, the gold body, yellow and red, little bit of color usually you find them at the big box stores and as I was breeding them you know I'd get half the line that because they were big box guppies I got half the line that just didn't look right and so I kept separating them and putting them in a mutt tank and then uh, you know I had another strain of guppies probably some sort of cobra and I put those that didn't look great in that and then their babies looked really nice <coughs> I'm fine and then um I just started sort of breeding them unintentionally and I started selling them on, you know, online on my website and they became some of my best sellers up until last summer with my mutt guppy tubs. That's when they became the best seller and continue to be the best seller. I sell, I don't know, I sell at least five batches, five groups of five a week, which I'm a small time guy so that's a lot. That's just muck guppies. I sell other guppies too, but you know, lots of muck guppies. Um, and the thing about muck guppies are, you never know what you're gonna get. You may ask me for blues, and their children or their fry might not be blues. Um, the original deal with the muck guppies is I would just take a scoop, grab five guppies, and that's what you got. Now I have people asking me. I try to do three females and two males. I try. I can't always do it, um, but. Mutt guppies became so popular, I actually had to go out and buy fancy guppies from a wholesaler, um, which is something I didn't want to do because those are some of the, the least cared about guppies in the hobby. Um, so I knew I, you know, extra quarantine for them, extra meds, extra precautions were taken, but they're, they've all made it through quarantine. Of the 200 I got, I think about 195 actually survived the shipping. Probably lost another 20 or 25-ish out of that. Um, through quarantine, but they're all nice and healthy. We're going to show them to you in a little while, actually. Uh, I'm going to show you the new massive mutt guppy tank. So what is a mutt? As I said, it's just a guppy that doesn't breed true. Or, you know, its tail got jacked up during birthing process. Or, you know, it's got a, a jacked up dorsal arm. Whatever. It's not a perfect guppy, let's put it that way. That said, they are some of the most beautiful guppies I've ever seen. All of them are different, and to be blatantly honest, they are my favorite guppy. If you want to know my favorite guppy strain, Mutt. Mutt guppy is my favorite. Now, there are some stuck-up people on Facebook and social media that, ah, Mutt guppies, I don't really care. I like them. Most people like them. Some people don't want to spend $50 on a pair or a trio of guppies. They'd rather spend $25 on five guppies and know they're all going to look great and be healthy. They are some of the most healthiest guppies some of the most healthiest, some of the most healthy guppies, or some of the healthiest guppies you choose in my fish room are the mutts. Uh, last year, the ponds, the muck guppies looked amazing, and I really can't wait. Uh, the last three days here in South Jersey, overnight lows were in the 30s, so I didn't ship anything this week. I gave everyone the option. Everyone said, no, just hold off. Um, but starting tomorrow thursday when you see this it'll be thursday but i'm filming it wednesday morning or afternoon ish um it's supposed to be in the 80s i have started more setting of, up of the ponds outside i've got all the overflows done 
Uh, I just have to bring the pump out and connect it and fill them with water and make sure it works. And then I think I'm gonna set up the Mutt Guppy uh, overflow ponds first. I have the 250 gallon totes out there. I have the 90 gallon uh, square Intex pond. I have my two new ponds. I have to build platforms for this weekend, but hopefully this weekend we'll have all the ponds out. I don't know if we're gonna have guppies in all of them. We're gonna have them all set up. Anyway, back to mutts. <sighs> mutt guppies, some of my favorites, some of the most hardy, all different, all beautiful. How do you make a mutt? You just take a boy guppy and a girl guppy, doesn't matter the strain, boom, put them in a tank together, 28 days later, you got fried. That's how it works. It's easy. And there are some people that are like really good with guppy genetics that can probably look at them and go, oh, that's this, this, and this. I can't. Usually I can tell you if it's got some cobra or mosaic or something like that, and that's it. Because I'm just a dumb guy with a camera. Albeit very handsome, but dumb guy with a camera. Anyway, folks, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and show you the Mutt Guppy tank because it is massive. I'm telling you, it's epic. It is dope. It is all those words combined into one. So, refill your snack and beverage if you need to. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here is the 90 gallon massive Mutt Guppy tank. If you remember, I got this tank at the first Keystone Clash I attended. It was late in the auction. I think I picked it up for, I don't know, 20 or $30. I, I think I got this one in the 75 for less than $50 at that auction, and they've served me well. Uh, both of them were drilled, and obviously, you know, I use them to the fullest of that I can. Anyway, folks, the massive Mutt Guppy tank has probably 300 or more guppies, adult guppies in it. And let me explain what's going on here. So all the dark body guppies are the ones that were in those black totes that were here on the floor. Some of them are still a little skinny. They're gaining weight. Uh, they've been treated for internal parasites, uh, both with medicine and with uh, food. And uh, they look much better than when I first got them. Uh, they were very skinny and depleted, but... They look great. Uh, there were a bunch of fry in the female tote, so I'm happy about that. They are in here as well. Also, my good friend from Brooklyn uh, came down again last, actually this week, and brought me a tub of 292 fry. Uh, so they're in here as well. Plus, I had, I don't know, 50 or 60 adult guppies and probably 100 fry uh, in there as well. Now, there are two or three Gibiceps Plecos in here. Uh, I bought it at an auction. I bought four in auction, the Bucks County auction last year, and um, I, they didn't sell, so I brought them home and they're in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, let's just talk about the tank for a minute. It is a 90 gallon, it's the largest tank I have in my fish room. Um, it does have two ginormous sponge filters. You can see one, you can see the top of it over there, so you can see the ginormous sponge filters, I got those in. Actually, I bought one in California at uh, Neptune uh, Aquatics with my good friend Barbara. And hi, Barbara, hi, Harlan. And um, then I ordered them online. I ordered some more online because they were like ridiculously cheap. Um, and I thought they were cool to have. So has those two filters in it. Um, there's also like a little cave thingy for the Plecos. Over there, that white thing, and then there's a ginormous piece of driftwood next to it. Uh, you can see the standpipe there for the, the tank, but this tank I also keep heated, and, and here's why. I don't normally heat tanks, but a heated tank will make guppies produce faster and grow faster. And the reason I do that for the muck guppies is there was a point where I was selling muck guppies, and I thought I didn't have any more adults. I had a couple of females, and that was it. And I started to like clean out this tank. Like I, I took out all the filters, I took out most of the moss, and then lo and behold, there were 20 or 30 guppies just chilling in the bottom, adults. And then I found, you know, a poop ton of fry as well. So uh, I had plenty of guppies, I just didn't really see them. And so um, now I have, you know, I don't know, 350 guppies in here, which, which will be a good start for the, uh, the mutt guppy tubs outside. Uh, last year what I did, <coughs> I'm fine. As I said before when I was talking about the muck guppy ponds, I took um, a bunch of guppies from this tank and then I went to my local fish store and I bought like, I don't know, a dozen guppies from all his different tanks to throw in the mutts. And 
and uh, everything came out really nice. So um, that's what I'm going to do this year, except I have all these different genetics in here. As a matter of fact, I just got an order from uh, another breeder today, our good friend Joe, and I mistakenly thought the guppies he sent me were garbage, and I put them in here, and they're not. They were uh, really nice Diablo guppies, and now it's, I really can't catch them out. You can see, I don't know if you can see them, they look like cobras with jacked up tails and black bodies. They look really nice now that I see them, but I was busy when I unbagged them, and long story, Joe did everything right, I screwed it up. Anyway, so if you order muck guppies, you might get a Diablo guppy. Here's the thing about muck guppies, by the way, folks, you don't really get your choice. You can say, hey, try to get me blues, or try to get me reds, or try to get me yellows, but that's, I can try, I can't promise, especially if I have like 30 hours, I'm not going to, the thing about the muck guppies for me was it was easy, scoop five, done. Anyway. You can leave the note. I will do my best to, to honor it. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how all these guppies do outside. Let's talk about how you're going to pick mutt guppies for your mutt guppy ponds. I always choose the most colorful females. Um, I don't normally say, oh, I want to pick reds here and blues here because that's not what I want with mutts. I like the mixed colors. That one's pretty spectacular. I don't know if you can see it. Um, anyway, <clears throat> um, I always pick the most colorful females. And when they're in the tubs outside, I might do five or six females and two or three males, and that's it. Um, and then in a month, you'll have, you know, 100 guppies in there. And hopefully in three months, you'll have three or 400 guppies in there. Uh, at least that's what happened with me. Um, so that's, that's the Mutt Guppy Tank. 90 gallon, it's massive, it's dope. It's fantastic. Anyway, fishy folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the Mutt Guppy centric video. And uh, I look forward to putting some ponds outside, like like that female. I don't know if you could see. She had a really nice red cobra-ish tail. I don't know if I can. That's, that's one of the females I would choose because her tail was so colorful. Um, as far as males go, it doesn't really matter. I, I might throw a red one and you know a blue one in there, or a red one and a yellow one. So there's a couple colors that go together with guppies, like green and purple, uh, red and blue typically go together. So you might not want to put two, you know, a red and a blue guppy with a, a female. I tend to to try to put the opposite color. So, you know, I might put a yellow and a red together or a blue and a yellow together. Um, greens are a little rarer and, uh, you know, purples, those are always rare and look fantastic. But anyway, folks, um, that does it again for the Mutt Guppy centric video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget michaelsfishroom.com. There are some things coming off back order. They're off back order. They're for sale at michaelsfishroom.com. Go check it out. Thanks, guys. And as always, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Should we feed them? Do you guys want to see them eat? Let's do that. I'm going to feed them this freeze-dried Cyclops from um, San Francisco Bear Brand. Look how much I've used already. Look how ginormous this container is. Look how much I've used. I love this stuff. All right, let's see. Let's see what the muck guppies do with this deliciousness. Look at them going crazy for it. That's probably not enough for everyone. I would love it if this stuff sank a little more and the fry could get it, but we'll add some more. Now, here's the thing, folks. The amount I just added, don't add you shouldn't add that to your tank unless you have an auto water change system or you have, you know, 300 guppies in this tank and a ton of plants. Because the thing is, when you feed, if you have a lot of guppies, they're going to have some waste. And if you feed them more, they're going to have even more waste. And then you could have problems. But that's why, you know, you have the cycle. Anyway, I'm babbling. I'm ready to go. Hope you guys liked it. San Francisco Bay brand, free dried Cyclops. Link down below. Have a great day. Um.
Um, originally, a couple weeks ago, what prompted the, let me start over, because that would make a good actual conversation. Wow, this sucks. Let me try to show you. Nope, that's not gonna work, stand by. Nope, this one.